a combination of engineering genius melded with necessity. No, it's not the big round baler. It's the home-built tractor pulling the baler. Dan Krieger's tractor is what you get when parts from about 30 different farm implements, automobiles, and metal scrap piles are pieced together with amazing build-it-yourself know-how. This high-comfort work of art is part tractor, truck, car, combine, semi, and all-terrain vehicle. But most of all, it's the ultimate power unit for pulling a big round baler, which is exactly what Dan Krieger wanted. People just can't believe it when they see it, says Krieger, and we can understand why. At first glance, you'd swear it comes from the Deer Tractor Works. But let's take a closer look. The chassis is from a 25-year-old three-quarter ton truck, modified to beef up the brakes and incorporate an air cushion suspension for the rear wheels. The combination of airbags, a suspension seat, and dual 20-inch lug tires mean excellent flotation in a Cadillac-type ride, even on rough fields. This guy really knows what comfort's all about. Well, power comes from the only major new item on the machine. It's a turbocharged 109 horsepower four-cylinder engine that costs about $5,000. The hydrostatic drivetrain and the cab are from a 7700 Deer Combine, which cost about $500 from a junkyard. Krieger made it the hydrostatic with a four-speed transmission to give him infinite speed control from zero to 11 miles per hour in first gear and from zero to 50 miles per hour overall. For the PTO, Krieger used a reduction gearbox that lowered shaft RPMs from 1250 to 600. This is more than the typical 540, but it lets him operate the engine at a lower speed to conserve fuel. Here's Dan to tell us more about some other features. I started collecting parts about five years ago, and just this last year I really got enough time to really work on it. All the electrical wiring and hoses all go through the side of the cab that hinges into the three brake lines with hoses by the hinge for individual brakes in the back and front of the brakes. Hydraulics are powered by an old air conditioner pump that Krieger converted into an air compressor. An electric clutch connected to a pressure switch kicks the compressor on and off. An electric power window control activates solenoids that operate the air controls. Krieger activates all these controls from the joystick and the four switches inside the cab. One controls the baler end gate, another engages the PTO, a third regulates the engine throttle, and a fourth turns the PTO off as soon as the baler gate opens. The steering wheel and column are from an old Chevy Citation, with electronic controls used to dim the lights, operate the windshield wiper, the turn signals, and the emergency lights. A 35-gallon fuel tank is mounted behind the cab, right below the rollover protection bar. Krieger also modified the baler, adding a walking beam axle to smooth out field travel. The total cost for Krieger's rig was about $12,000, which he figures is less than half that of a comparable tractor. <laughs> 